This is one of the first turbines that I set up for review. Links to the specific item purchased as well as other pertinent details will be in the description below. If you're interested in peak output, the last minute and a half of this video is shot during a storm that was giving us 25 mile an hour winds and higher. This event gave us the most power. There's a little frame rate scene here, but I promise I will bolt this thing to the roof of my car just like I did the vertical turbine for you guys to like that kind of thing. This unit is very common on eBay with claims of anywhere from 250 watts up to 7,000 watts. I want to preface this by saying anyone who expects to be able to get thousands of watts or more from a 48 inch turbine is in for disappointment. This one was rated by the seller for being able to produce 500 watts in a 12.5 meter per second wind, which is roughly 27 miles per hour. It came with six blades and they are all roughly 24 inches long. They are essentially uniform in build and appearance, but I did notice some rather odd marks on the leading edges of the airfoils. I believe they are casting marks, but each blade has them and they are all in slightly different locations. The hub is made of cast aluminum and the casting is pretty rough and dirty. There's a lot of slag glued down with the paint and none of the holes were cleaned out and deburred. It's not a huge issue, but it's one that could cut you if you're careless. The slots for the blades are snug, but not so tight as to prevent you from adjusting the spread. The casing is a clamshell assembly with the stator sandwich between the body and the front cap. The opening is sealed with a large O-ring. There is no groove for this O-ring and it rests against the bolts in places. I do not believe this will allow an adequate seal in very wet conditions. There is also one, only one bearing assembly in the nose. It is unsupported in the rear rotor. The pictures of the stator did not turn out quite as sharp as desired, but I hope that you'll be able to get the idea. It is composed of 36 coils arranged into three phases. The windings are indeed copper and not coated aluminum, but they are very sloppy. While all the coils are tightly secure in the cage, the windings are not consistent. Some of the wires stand away from their coil and are fairly loose. The stator is not sealed in lacquer or enamel, and it is wound in 22 gauge wire. I cannot get the stator out to see the wiring configuration. All the wiring goes to a single generic and simple brushed slip ring. The wiring coming from the slip ring is 11 gauge. The magnets on the rotor are fairly robust, though I have not managed yet to figure out a way to measure their strength consistently. There are 12 magnets. They are roughly 18 by 12 by 4 millimeters. I only had one major mechanical issue with this turbine, which was a damaged blade. I think it was fractured or cracked in shipping, and it just let loose after it had been in the air for a couple of days. That said, I did have a number of performance issues with this turbine. So I tried it connected to 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt systems and have never gotten anywhere near the claimed performance. The best performance I got out of it was running on a 36 volt system with three blades. I routinely see between 100 and 200 watts from this turbine, generally on the lower side. The highest I have seen is just shy of 280 watts. Its strong point, though, is that it can make 50 to 100 watts in very little wind. It starts up very easily, it just caps off way earlier than it should. I don't think this is a great turbine. I want to try a couple more of this variety to see if they're all made the same, but this one is certainly not worth the money invested in it, in my opinion. The 400 watt turbine that I reviewed, will, which I will also link below, is a much better investment. This is about 25 miles an hour. I don't know how much of that's going to carry over on the video. It's almost like one of those blades for all the blades. I'm going to have to shut that one down. Let's go see what it's kicking out. Okay. That's the middle one. Let's get some light.
wasn't as bad as much as I thought it was. I don't know, I'll risk it and let it sit up there. <laughs>